Hey guys, welcome to the Tom Reefer Studio. New viewers, here's the 20 gallon mixed reef cube. Look at that guy. Change that out, it's usually really dark brown. Up top we have the five gallon nano, LPS dominant. Will slow way down in growth. And in the back we have the infamous six gallon tall, 22 inches high by eight inches wide, are extremely difficult to keep. And over here we have the 10 gallon peninsula mixed reef. And today's water change Wednesday, guys, so let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to Water Change Wednesday again. On Thursday, new viewers, Water Change Wednesday is a question and answer format. Ask me any question you want below the video in the comments section. I'll answer it there and then I try to answer it here. I wanted to thank the new members for joining the Tom Reefer train membership. I really appreciate it, guys. I hope some of the extra things that I'm giving you, I can do it because the overflow box in here is plastic are satisfying and fun. Hey guys, just having my morning coffee. Let's keep it going and thanks a lot. Stephen B. asked me about filter flaws. Stephen, I use that blue-backed filter media. You can buy it in rolls on Amazon, and it's got the white side and then a blue side that's finer, and that really eliminates all the detritus. When I change that out, it's usually really dark brown or greenish brown. You want to get that right where the overflow comes in. So you want that as high up on the box as possible. What I would recommend is as a minimum, you should change that out once a week. So Kaylin asks me about calcium and alkalinity and pH. I have a few videos on those, Kaylin, if you check back into the parameters and chemistry playlist. However, I'll give you the real short of it here. It is important you have a balanced calcium and alkalinity. You want to be above 420 on your calcium and you want to be between 8 and 10 dKH. If they get too low you'll start to see that your corals especially your SPS if you're keeping any of them will slow way down in growth. Alvaro said I seem fit. Push-ups, sit-ups, lunges for legs, and when I was a young guy, I lifted weights and worked out all the time. I had some professional football tryouts for you sports guys back in the early 80s for the Washington Redskins at the time, and there was a league called the USFL. This is American football for you guys outside the States. I was a wide receiver. Zachariah picked up a torch coral from a local fish store that wasn't very healthy and he asked me how to nurse it back to health. Just perfect parameters guys. You know keep your calcium and alkalinity up, keep your nutrients down and do your water changes. Just a healthy environment will nurse most corals back to health. Now if it's got some kind of fungus or bacterial infection then you'll probably have to dip it but if it's not, if it's just looking unhealthy and some of the heads are, you know, receding, try to nurse it back with good water parameters and see how it goes. The Shadow of Diablo asked me, how did I choose my glasses? I wasn't sure what he meant by that. Sylvia helps me choose. My wife does all my choosing for me, whether it's clothes or glasses, anything that I wear, it's my wife helps me choose. Aaron asks me about coloration on his SPS. SPS are extremely difficult to keep and really to determine what's causing things to happen with them. He said he's losing color in that one, but all his other ones look great. So I'm not one for moving things around. If you've done something a little bit different to your tank, some form of a change that you did just before you noticed the coloration diminishing, 
then that might be something that you could look at. Sometimes people say that if your nutrients get too low, like your nitrate, that that can affect the coloration of your SPS. I've always kept my nitrate down real low trace. Now trace on a test doesn't mean that there isn't any nitrate in your water. It just means it's all getting used up and it's not testing in your water column. That's a tricky subject. You know, if you start raising your nitrate by maybe adding more food or however, whatever method you're going to use, you run the risk of an algae outbreak. So I do dose amino acids in my tanks. Try the amino acids and see if that helps and keep everything the same. And if you did make a change, did something different, don't do that again. I got a couple questions on battery backups and I guess here in the states it's because of the hurricane that came through. Chris talked about a battery backup too and he mentioned that he's down in Louisiana. All he can manage to do is run an MP10 for a few hours a day. The key with no power guys is oxygen and temperature obviously but it's the summer months here so it's really oxygen. If you can keep your water circulating throughout the time of the outage you run a good chance of saving your stuff. If it's too hot, he's doing what you should do. You get some ice blocks and you just have to keep putting these ice blocks in your water, which lower the temperature down. You know, try to keep it as low as possible. Sometimes people, you know, 86 degrees, they've, things have survived. You may lose some, but if you can keep it as stable as you can, and these blocks of ice in baggies that usually can get you through it. What I'll do with that one is I'll put a link below this video and it'll link you to where I found a great battery backup method that I use and I just followed that one. At the time I just had the 20 and the 5 gallon and I kept almost everything running on there the whole time from my backup. So I'll put it in the link below. Yell Salty checked in. He asked me what I would do differently with my GSP the next time around. I kind of complain about it once in a while. At first I was trying to avoid the complaints, but now it's really getting out of control in my 20 gallon. So what I would do is put it on an island rock or put it on the walls of the aquarium like I'm doing in my six gallon. But if it's on an island rock, then it's just gonna grow on there. When this first started, it was such a small piece we're talking about five years ago, it was a little piece in my 10 gallon. It was on the main structure of my rock. So over time, it's just spread all over. So that's what I would do different. All right, guys, that should do it for this one. Have a great rest of the evening if you're watching at night. I'll see you on Sunday. We're going to do the 10 gallon update everything on Sunday with this. Take care now.